back to hockey. An interesting trade between the Ducks and Flyers Monday. Philadelphia is sending top prospect Cutter Goche to the Ducks for Jamie Drysdale and a second round pick next year. Now Goche was taken fifth overall in 2022. He just won gold with the United States at the World Junior Hockey Championship. He was a Pens fan growing up. He decided he didn't want to play for the Flyers. We were hoping that at some point he would change his mind. I mean, he, he had already changed his mind. He um, looked at us at the draft and told us he was built to be a flyer, wanted to be a flyer, and then a few, maybe a few months later, told us that he didn't want to be a flyer, didn't want to play for the flyers. So uh, in our mind at first, we, we said we have to protect him. We have to, because uh, if he changes his mind again, um, you know, and it's out there that he uh, doesn't want to play, it's going to be tough for him um, to put the uniform on. Uniform on. Um, you know, but uh, when we realized that they refused to talk to us now, it's been months, and he didn't want to be a flyer, didn't want to be in Philadelphia, um, it, it was time to make it happen. Why did he not want to be a flyer? Why did he not want to be in Philadelphia? Uh, I don't know. We never got an answer, um, so I, I don't know much more than that. You don't want to be a flyer? You're not going to be a flyer? And uh, we were very pleased in the return that we got a player that we coveted and we're searching for in Jamie Drysdale, a right-handed shooting defenseman that was a former sixth overall pick. Uh, he's got skill. All right, Pierre Lebrun is back to talk about this fascinating situation with Cutter Goche. I find it hard to believe that being a boyhood fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins would make you never want to play <laughs> for the Philadelphia Flyers. So let's put that aside for a second. But having said that, it's pretty obvious, Pierre, that this has gone on for quite a while and that Briere and Keith Jones have known about the situation for a while and they finally had to do something about it. W what exactly do you think happened here? Yeah, it's a fascinating deal. And I think, frankly, giving, giving the youth of these two players that have traded teams, we're going to look back in 10 years, I think, and have fun and say, wow, who won this trade, right? Because it's pretty rare for young players of this talent to get traded for each other this early in their careers. Um, you know, uh, I reached out to uh, Goche's representative, uh, uh, you know, tonight and his, his agents overseas and said, you know, I think they're going to try and clear the air on this uh, over the next few days. So we don't really know 100% why Cutter Goche didn't want to sign with the Flyers. But it's important to point out this does happen. Remember, Adam Fox didn't, you know, the Calgary Flames knew that they wouldn't be able to sign Adam Fox. And then Carolina yeah. couldn't sign Adam Fox and he ends up signing with the Rangers. This does happen with U.S. college players from time to time. Um, but it, there's also some background here in terms of Pat Verbeek, the Ducks GMJ, that he, I'm told, tried to, to uh, trade for another first-round pick at the 22 draft to draft Cutter Goche. Hmm. I mean, Pat Verbeek's had his eye on him for a couple of years and, and obviously stayed with it. Um, and so, and again, to, to trade a young stud blue liner like Jamie Drysdale, who yeah. we, I mean, I give the Flyers credit because at the end of the day, they had to make the best of the situation. And, you know, as Danny Breer talked about, Danny Breer and Keith Jones went to the real juniors and wanted to make an impassionate plea to Cutter Goche to, to, to once and for all sell their case and their vision of the franchise. And they didn't get an audience. Wow. So. It's, it's something else, and uh, I got a feeling we'll be talking about this trade for a long time. Boy, I love it. It's, um, it's going to be like the Pedro Martinez Delino de Shields deal. We'll be talking about the one for hey. one, right? The young, talented players, the one for one. I know there's a second round pick, but yeah, you're right, Pierre. We're going to be talking about this forever. Uh, by the way, Goche finished the World Juniors with the gold medal, of course, and tied for the most points in the tournament with 12. So Ducks are getting a good one, Flyers are getting a good one. We'll see how it plays out down the road. Pierre Lebrun, always great having you on the show. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. All right, Jay.